Hello friends, welcome to Optometry Reels, where we share optometry related videos useful for the students, practitioners as well as patients. But before going ahead, if you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell. Practitioners as well as patients themselves can detect or check the progress of near visual field in various disorders of macula and the optic nerve. Yes, we are going to talk about the Amsel grade test chart, which looks like a graph paper with multiple small size boxes on it, having a central dark spot. This Amsel chart evaluates the central 20 degree of the visual field. It is a diagnostic tool that is mainly used in the screening, detection and monitoring of the macular diseases. It can also be used to detect the disease of the optic nerve and visual pathway. There are seven different types of Samsula chart. The chart on the screen is chart number one, which can be black square on the white background or white square on the black background. This test is quite handy and evaluates central 20 degree of the visual field. So if you are at risk of macular degeneration, or any other disease related to the macula or the optic nerve, you can use this chart or advice to your patient to monitor the progress of their vision and the visual field. While performing the test, if patient has any glasses, they should be made to wear that during the test. And the chart should be held 40 cm or 16 inches away from the eye. Patient should look with each eye separately as this is a monocular test. Patient should also be asked to focus at the center dot, which is a small dot in the center of the grid. While patient looking at the dot, ask her to report if any line on the grid is distorted, broken, or if she is seeing a blurred area or missing area, or if they can appreciate the dark area either at the corner or the sides. You can ask certain questions like do all the boxes on the grid look square and the same size? Are there any missing areas or the dark area on the grid? Can they see all the corners and the side of the grid while keeping the eye on the central dot? If you detect any subtle problems, immediately report to the ophthalmologist. These Changes can be distorted, broken, blurred area, missing area, dark area, either at the corner or the sides. These are other test charts, 2 to 7 in numbers. Chart 2 is similar to chart 1 but has diagonal lines that aid fixation in patients unable to see the central spot as a result of central scotoma. Again, chart 3 is identical to chart 1 or chart 2 but has red squares. It is used to detect several color scotomas and desaturations that may occur in the toxic maculopathies, optic neuropathies and chasmal lesions. Chart 4 consists of only random dots is used mainly to distinguish scotoma from metamorphopsia. And chart 5 consists of horizontal lines and is designed to detect metamorphopsia along the specific meridians. And it is useful in the patients who complains reading difficulties. Chart 6 is similar to chart 5 but has a wide background and the central lines are closer together and gives more detailed evaluation. Chart 7 is more sensitive than all the charts. It exhibits a fine central grid, each square substanding an angle of a half degree, whereas outer squares substand one degree. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Your suggestions and comments are important to us. See you at the next video.